Hey everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to bar your engine over by hand. This is one of the more basic and easy tests to know how to do, but it shows a lot of what's going inside of the deep engine, because if you can't rotate the engine over manually, well, you might need a new one. Basically, on the front of every single engine, there is a harmonic dampener, and it is affixed with a bolt most of the time. And it's really easy to use that bolt to rotate the engine over to see if it's okay. Those bolts come in all kinds of different sizes, so you're just gonna have to figure out which one works for you. There might also be some panels in the way that you have to remove in order to gain access to that. And you should also know whether or not your engine is mounted transversely, side to side, or straight forward and back, which is usually pretty easy to figure out just looking at it. So what usually happens when you need to perform this test is you go to hit the key, you can hear the starter sort of engage, but nothing happens. And usually that means something is messed up in the actual rotating assembly of the engine. And this is how to test for that. So there's a couple different scenarios in which you would really want to perform this test is if you suspect you ran out of oil, there was an oil starvation issue. An oil starvation issue can also come around just from a lack of maintenance, a bunch of gunk built up in the sump for the engine and well you don't have any more oil and that's really detrimental that causes things to overheat and grind against each other and can actually lock up the engine really easily so it's really important especially this day and age to change your oil regularly the same goes to make sure that you have a functioning cooling system if you've let the engine just get super super hot what can happen is the piston inside of the bore can swell and that can lock it up inside of the block also a head gasket leak can be a problem if the head gasket fails coolant can just pour in into the cylinder. Once the coolant is poured into the cylinder and the piston is coming up, you can't compress a liquid, it'll lock the engine up or cause catastrophic damage. So it's important to check for this. And one of the last more common things that happens is a mechanical failure, also known as throwing a rod, something like that, or spinning a bearing, or you know something mechanical inside a connecting rod isn't happy on a wrist pin and it just spits the uh, connecting rod out but it doesn't window into the block and it just kind of wedges up in there and it really stops the rotating assembly from rotating. Also, before you perform this test, especially if you have a manual transmission, make sure the car is not in gear. Put the vehicle in park if you have an automatic and leave it in neutral if you have a manual. And of course, set your parking brake or chalk the wheels. So all you need to do is locate the front of your engine, locate your harmonic damper and bolt and bolt size, get a nice long prying implement. I recommend about two feet. There's a link down below in the description for your convenience and try to bar that engine over. Once you get about two rotations around on the rotation, you know, you're probably okay there and you can move on in your testing, but make sure you take your serpentine belt off first. The vehicle we will be using today is a 2005 Ford Focus. Now this applies to every engine ever made, essentially. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So here is the front of our engine. It just happens to be a transverse mounted inline four. Probably the hardest version of what we're trying to do today is barring over engine on some an engine that's transversely mounted, which is a good thing because I want to show you guys exactly how to do some do it on something that's a little harder, uh, regularly forward mounted like V8 or something's a lot easier to get to. Now I've already removed our serpentine belt. I'm just letting it slack out because, because when I'm barring the engine over, I don't want to be fooled by a locked up accessory like if the power steering pump or something was totally locked up and that was preventing the engine from turning over, it does happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a 21 millimeter socket. Yours might be different on a long prying implement and I should be able to rotate the engine over with a little bit of force, not like a ton. This shouldn't be like, you put it on here and go oh, 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 and try to take it off, then you probably have a problem internally inside of the engine itself. It should go, I mean, with relative force, not like a huge ton. And I always like to just go clockwise because that's the way the engine wants to spin anyway. And we can see on this engine, it is perfectly fine. If it is not, basically this easy to turn over and admittedly a bigger engine is going to be harder to turn over if you think just because the size of your engine is a problem go ahead and take your spark plugs out that'll make it ridiculously easy but it should turn over with relative force like this is i'm only using one hand and it is just really going easily and it did fight me a little bit on on the back because it'll build up build up build up it's building compression and then it kind of gives way and that's completely normal. Don't worry about that. That just means the valves are opening on the one, of the one or two of the pistons that are on the compression stroke. Don't worry about that at all. It should look just like this. And this is effectively how you bar your engine over and don't get fooled by any locked up accessory. So that is how to perform your manual rotation test or colloquially known as barring the engine over. 
This is absolutely essential you know how to do this, especially when you're shopping for like a used engine to put in a vehicle. Always a smart idea to make sure that the engine at least bars over. Also, if your vehicle has failed the barring over test, well, the engine's probably toast and you might need another one. Thank you so very much for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting at all, please consider giving a like or even subscribing. It really helps my channel out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.